Hey guys, how's it going? Chez back again with another episode of the AC Milan career mode here on Xbox One. We're into number 20. This is the end of the fourth week of the AC Milan career mode. I can't believe we're this far into it already. Coming towards the end of the first season, as you can see, it is the 1st of April. Now, we're coming up against Lazio in Serie A in the first game of this episode. We actually just played them recently in the uh, in the semi-finals of the Coppa Nazionale and got through to the final, which will be coming to you as a live com at the very end of this season, which will be, uh, which will be next week, in fact. We're going to be ending the first season next week. But if you missed yesterday's video, feel free to check the channel page or the annotation in the bottom left-hand side of your picture to uh, to take you to it. There was uh, some big games in there, decider in the Champions League against Borussia Dortmund. And uh, talking of Champions League, we need to make sure that we maintain a run of good form in the league to ensure that we qualify for next year's Champions League as well. Of course, it's top three in Italy, not the top four that qualify for Europe's elite competition. Then it's uh, fourth and fifth that qualify for the Europa League as opposed to fifth and sixth in England. So it's a uh, Definitely something we want to ensure that we get. We definitely want Champions League football next year. And uh, we're having to take Kevin Constant off early on in this one. Unfortunately, he's had a, uh, a blow to the elbow. It's actually broken it and he's going to be out for quite a while. So, unfortunately, we lose a left back. And I have to bring on uh, Erby Emanuelsson, who's already extremely tired, to be completely honest. But we're able to get ourselves into the lead in this game. In the 25th minute, it's Giovanni Dos Santos' first goal for the club. He's been really, really good for us since he came in from, uh, from Villarreal. A fantastic acquisition. We paid £9 million pounds plus. We uh, we traded Alberto Pelosi, the uh, the striker we bought in in the summer. They didn't really have the same sort of impact on the team that we perhaps may have liked from him. And uh, we decided to move him on. And so far, it seems to be a good decision. Giovanni Dos Santos, not only is he a fantastic dribbler and a good goal scorer, he also has the uh, the ability to play it out wide or up top. And uh, he's having a tough decision or a tough time getting into that left mid spot, though, because El Sarawi is holding it down right now. That is an absolute peach of a goal to to put us 2 0 up in the 38th minute. Really, really fantastic finesse to finish. You guys tell me to finesse with him. I've started finessing with him, and that is the end result. It's absolutely superb from Stefan. And uh, he's been really, really good for us in recent times. And Kosuke Honda into the second half. He's playing through Mario Balotelli. Great feat to get around the defender. Has a decent strike. And unfortunately, Marquez is able to get down to his left-hand side to, uh, to make a decent save. But the last time we played Lazio away from home was in the first leg of that uh, Coppa Nazionale semi-final. We actually ran out 4-0 winners. So we know we can score goals against Lazio. And we know we can score goals away from home against Lazio. So I was hoping for, uh, for a decent or and or similar scoreline in this one if we uh, we could possibly do that. But unfortunately, we're going to pick up another injury here. You can see the man is on the floor holding his knee. It's Sully Montari. He's just come back from an injury and he's actually picked up another one. You'll be able to see on your screen just about now. It's medial collateral ligament damage. And that is most definitely one of the most painful things in football. Of course, uh, uh, what's his face? Oh, named Jay Rodriguez. Sorry, the name just absolutely uh, escaped me there. Jay Rodriguez recently uh, ruptured his knee ligament as well in real life. It's going to cost him his World Cup appearance, and it does look like that is actually going to cost Sinu Montari his World Cup appearance in uh, in this career mode as well, unfortunately for him. And he won't play any part of the remainder of our season. But if we can maintain the sort of form we uh, we play or showed in this game, running out two new winners overall against Lazio, then uh, hopefully he'll uh, he'll come back into a happy camp when he does does return from that injury but you'll be able to see that uh, he's actually going to be out for three months really disappointed that uh, we're going to lose Sully Montari for that amount of time and Kevin Constant is going to be out for two months as well with that broken elbow so it's disappointment all round for uh, for a couple of members of the squad and uh, we're actually very very tired these fixes are coming thick and fast now as you can see the fitness situation in the squad right now isn't the best but uh, we're going to try and battle through it at home against Palmer as you can see Rubinho is actually starting up top with Lulic, Tarapt and Adam Yang it's behind him. This game was played just two days after the uh, the Lazio game, which was played just two or three days after the uh, the previous game, the last game of the uh, yesterday's episode. So uh, we've definitely got it all to do today. Fifth in the league with the game in hand on the teams in first, second and third. And uh, hopefully we can close the gap here with the game against Palmer. They uh, they gave us a very, very good game in uh, the last episode, or last time we played them rather. And uh, I was hoping for, uh, for a win from this one, although I knew the challenge was going to be a tough one. But we got off to a decent start there. Really nice flowing move from, uh, from the boys. Uh, Rubinho ending up with a decent shot that was well saved from Mirante and uh, unfortunately nothing really came of the following corner either and then it was Palmer's turn to get on the attack Cassano the uh, the former AC Milan man playing through uh, their striker and unfortunately for them he was 
only able to uh, to smash it past the near post. Not really poor, actually, effort there from uh, from him not to get that on target. But they were coming at me again. Bia Biani is, of course, absolutely rapid. And uh, that first touch from Gobby isn't the best. But if the ball pings around, and that is an absolute let off. They really should be finishing that. I think it was Antonio Cassano again. Really an uh, unlucky finish there, smashing it off the post. He should have done better. A player of his quality and of his experience really should be putting those away. And then Biabiani again with the effort there, this time off the side netting. Palmer really showing that uh, they're a dominant force in this game so far. We're going to get the chance to catch them on the counter-attack here. Rubinho and Adel Trapped linking up beautifully. Trapped, of course, in form this week on Ultimate Team. And perhaps he'd have an inform this week in real life as well because... Or in... Not in real life. He's got the he's got the inform for real life. Maybe he'd have an inform from his uh, his performance here today on this uh, Palmer game because of course he puts us one nil up with a, with a great strike. Brought it down beautifully after uh, the ball over the top, and then Adam Yates is actually going to score a, a second for us. Back to back goals in uh, short succession. We find ourselves two nil up. Perhaps against the run of play. You have to uh, you have to say, but that's actually going to round it up. Punishment for Palmer comes in uh, in swift moves, and uh, unfortunately for them, we are actually going to run out. 2 nil winners and uh, it's not uh, not three points that we deserved but it's three points that we will gladly take considering the uh, the league situation right now and we actually get a message from the board in between this and the next game saying that um, they're very very satisfied with the way the team is playing right now which is nice to hear obviously we would have we would have had a lot of speculation in the papers considering our early exit from the Champions League yesterday we were through to the semi through to the final of uh, the national domestic cup and we're doing okay in the league pushing on those Champions League spots and we've got a game against Genoa to round out today's episode a stronger side as you can see Benucci, Victor Ruiz at uh, centre back we've got Balotelli back up top and uh, do you know what away it definitely isn't an easy fixture they're, they're a tricky side that uh, have a couple of very very good players in their ranks you'll be able to see from the league table we're up to fourth now although Napoli behind us still do have that game in hand and the level on points with us but we're only three points behind second so uh, it's still extremely tight at the top of the league it really could go either way between now and the end of the season we almost get off to the perfect start here Lacazette whipping the ball across Kazuki Honda unfortunately can't pounce properly on uh, on the deflection from the defender he's poor clearance and uh, we aren't able to take the lead early on, but we get another chance just a few minutes later. Stefano Sarari gets played over the top. Great strength to shove the defender aside. He's got a free man at the back post, and eventually the ball's going to find its way into the back of the net, and we do get our perfect start. Mario Balotelli is the man there. Open goal, all he's got to do is slot it into the back of the net with a tidy header, and we take a comfortable 1-0 lead. And we're going to try and extend that lead here. De Jong into Balotelli again. It's going to go on a bit of a run here. Cheeky double step over does the man, and he just toys with him, switching him left and right, and before finally getting the shot away and the goalkeeper really should do better with that we'll take it it's 2-0 to Milan but you've got to say the uh, the goalkeeper will be disappointed with that Nicolas Badiso really understands that as a as a very talented defender but oh he's got he got down to it well just didn't maybe perhaps there was just too much power behind it from uh, from Balotelli's shot but so uh, it's, it's just not good enough it has to be said at, the, at this stage of the season you need your players to be performing at the very best of their ability on a really consistent basis and that's what Balotelli has been doing recently he's just been uh, just maintained a high level of performance the very highest level of performance all season long he uh, obviously we uh, we had the massive bid for him towards the uh, the end of the the transfer window in January and we ha had to really think about whether we were going to move him on or not because it was a massive offer of 62 and a half million but He's priceless, honestly. He is the difference for us this season, and he's making the difference here today. And we're going to get another chance here. Actually, no, it's Genoa, I think, getting another chance here. It is a lovely ball over the top by Centurion, by Centurion into Kuta, and he actually draws a great save out of Guita. We have to call on him again. Really fantastic uh, two-handed save. Great solid fists to palm the ball away. And uh, we're actually going to make a couple of changes to try and kill the game off if we possibly can. Giovanni Dos Santos coming on for Stefano Sarawi, and uh, Montalivo going off for Abu Diaby to try and solidify it in the middle. And perhaps Perhaps use that uh, the extra pace out wide through Giovanni Dos Santos to extend the lead. And Dos Santos was involved here. Balotelli going for a hat-trick in spectacular fashion. Lovely finesse shot that's well tipped over the bar this time by the goalkeeper. Actually perhaps making up for uh, for the mistake for the second goal with the ball. It's going to get cleared off the line here. Honda with wonderful technique. Strikes the ball in on the follow-up. And it's actually going to be a penalty for handball. You can see the technique there from Honda is absolutely wonderful. And then again, it's a clear handball. Your, uh, your defender there has his arm up. Hits him on the elbow. And uh, Balotelli does get an easier chance to smash in his hat-trick and that is exactly what he does he doesn't miss this opportunity takes 
all the time he needs to smash it right into the uh, the top right hand corner. Takes the goalkeeper the wrong way, and uh, it's Mario Balotelli three Genoa nil. It's AC Milan three Genoa nil, and we take all three points as well, which is exactly what we needed. We were too good in this episode, really, really too good. Two two nil wins and a three nil win to boot with a hat trick for Mario Balotelli that maintains our fourth position. As you can see, Napoli drew their game in between. The, uh, that weekend so they now fall two points behind us although still do have that game in hand and we still remain at three points behind Roma in second so with six games to go in the Serie A season we still stand a very good chance of qualifying for next year's Champions League and that is the aim but that's all for this one guys thank you very much for watching if you missed yesterday's episode like I say there's an annotation on the screen there on the right hand side this time on the end slate take you to it there was a, a my player episode last night as well feel free to check that out on the channel page and if you want to subscribe to the channel already then feel free to do so there's a link in the description an annotation on the screen on the left hand side there and your usual subscribe button and of course feel free to follow me on Twitter at Chesnoy Gaming as well links to that in the description we recently hit 700 followers over there so it's all going off right now and the channel is doing really really well so i can't thank you guys enough for that but that's all for today thank you very much for watching i will see you tomorrow with another episode of my player and uh, hopefully we can maintain our run of form in that as well but that's all for today guys thank you very much for watching and uh, i will see you next time